Hello everybody, Minstorm here, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Africa campaign featuring the modern day 4 mod. In the last episode, we made a major change to our internal politics, uh, switching from the international bankers to the military industrial complex. We also continued working on um, doing our research, building up our... Uh, military equipment, all the normal things we go through, and then we went ahead and declared our war on Cameroon and got that started. We have launched out of the former Equatorial Guinea. We also did an airdrop operation to kind of hopefully work on outflanking the primary uh, Cameroon military. There was some militia here, and we've blown through them, and now we're running uh, to the north here. Let's see if we can kind of grab some nice uh, victory points while our main forces keep their primary army tied down um, as we go. A couple of things that I uh, wanted to uh, acknowledge from the comments. I went ahead and per requests named the army group the Army of Light. I renamed the uh, Main Infantry Division, the Iron Legion. I named the Lord our well our best air squadron at the moment, the Black Panthers. Great movie, by the way. Um haven't seen Infinity War yet. Uh, I'll be seeing that as soon as I can. Um and we also named the um, our new nuclear cruisers the Acra class after the capital. And we'll be naming those ships after uh, cities and towns in the core of Ghana. So basically around here, I'll have to reference a map. Um, so that I can get some of the, because, I mean, we we're going to have, obviously, Accra and Kumasi, uh, Takaradi, is that Tamale? Tamale? Wa? Um, I don't know if we're going to have any more than that, but if we do, um, I'll have to find some more towns. Alright, so, let's just go ahead and get back to it. Yeah, these, uh, these units are going to break pretty easily. And once my armor gets involved... It may be out of date, but... They're better than anything these guys got. And we're also justifying against Gaben. I still don't know how to properly pronounce that. If it's a long or short A. I should probably look it up. Okay, well, it looks like that their army was more spread out than anticipated. But we've got most of the major victory points. Let's just see how things are going right now. We have lost uh, 13 men. 13 men. They have lost 811. And they're at 88% of capitulation. So they will be falling shortly. Oh, we actually have a free military factory? Wow. Okay. Uh, let's build some tanks. Because we do need some tanks. Though we are actually satisfying our need for tanks. But it's one of the slowest things we're producing. The 
see, we've lost 17 men. They've lost 1.4 thousand. And it should be over in a moment. This is about as lopsided a victory as you can get. What are we still short on? Petroleum and steel. Yep. But, Gaben, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go with Gaben. Gaben has petroleum and steel. Not a lot, but it has some. Alright, paratroopers. Uh, I guess I'll put you on one of these lines, just for now. Multiple rounds, simultaneous impact, too. I guess we do need better self-propelled artillery, right? Yeah, let's grab it. Oh, and someone also wanted some plane models named. I don't think I have... Anything other than network centric warfare. All right, it's done. Oh, and the uh, war is over. Take all states and turn done. I mean, we had the F4 Phantoms, but they're F4 Phantoms. And we already named the Wasp. We are currently researching our air superiority fighters. We do have interceptors, but I'm not really interested in making the interceptors. Um. We can take the transport helicopters. Uh, air superiority. Strike fighters. Let's see, what's the strike fighters? I think I'm bigger than that they are close air support, right? They have strategic bombing capability, ground attack. And that's different from close support. Ground attack, 35. Strategic bombing is much better. Maybe if I could see an example of a strike fighter. Like if I went to license production Light jet, light jet, attack helicopter, attack helicopter, transport, multi roll, a strike fighter, F 117 Aardvark. F 16. An F-117 Nighthawk is a strike aircraft. Okay, so they're basically fighter bombers. But not as dedicated to the ground attack role as a close air support aircraft. And not as good as a fighter as, say, a multi-role fighter. Okay. Um, do we want to go at multi-roles or do we want dedicated? Fifth gen air superiority. See, the air superiority fighters can't do ground attack. These guys are a little bit better at naval attack. I 
Maritime patrol aircraft. Naval targeting. Naval attack. I guess we could go with multi-role fighters. So we're gonna work on those. Alright, let's get the army redistributed. I don't think we need to do anything fancy here. We'll just line up and roll. Wrong button. I don't think we're really going to need the airborne, though I will go ahead and bring them. The Marines are still there. The fleet can head back to port. So I don't think these guys have any ships. No, they don't have any ships. Oh yeah, I need to come up with another a name for that destroyer. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I think I have a one that I can go with here. I'm not going with like specific names and specific uh, breeds of snake, but just kind of general ones. So this is going to be uh, Copperhead. I think that is a specific type of viper. Alright, how are we doing? We should probably put transport helicopters... Are the transport helicopters not even in here? Oh, transport helicopters are here. I think the transport helicopters aren't used for, like, transporting things. They're used for certain types of infantry. Um, so, for example, um, airborne light infantry. Not airborne, I don't think. Um, no, air light air assault infantry actually uses transport helicopters. All right, more tanks. See, you have five divisions, and there's all five of your divisions. And when was this gonna be done? The 3rd of January. Okay, that's not too long from now. How many more? We have one more. Okay. So I'm going to have to come up with one more snake name. When's it going to be done? Oh, it's almost done. It's going to be done uh, on the 17th of November in three days. Okay. I'll probably have to pause and go digging for their name. As soon as that hits 14. And then we're going to have our two new cruisers or battle cruisers. All right, there we go. Uh, just give me another moment. Okay, I think what we're going to go with is going to be 
So I really couldn't find anything else. I mean, I think someone suggested Dornish Viper, but we already have a Viper. Um, I know there's a lot of different types of Viper. Uh, and I know we're probably going to go with Anaconda here. Um, and I know that's a type of boa, but... I just kind of had to make a decision on that, and it's really not that important. Um, I mean, because we'll probably end up losing these ships the first time we get into any kind of serious combat. Because these are old, out-of-date destroyer models. But, again, right now, they're better than nothing. All right. Anything coming off the research queue anytime soon? 74 days for our first, uh, first air superiority fighter, which we'll name either the Daedalus class, uh, type or the Icarus. Um, all right, Somali election, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed was re-elected. Alright, so we have more Marines. Just head over there. Oh, and more infantry. They seem to come out at the same time. I guess just the way things play out. Alright, we do have a bit of a stockpile of small arms. Where do we have a shortage of battle tanks? Is it guys that are training? Yeah, it's guys that are training. We're short battle tanks. Well, these should not be called motorized infantry battalions. These are armored divisions. Don't quite have enough army experience for me to start putting together a new division template. Yeah, because if I want to switch over to, like, mobile and do... Like, motorized inf? Malian election, Ibrahim Bobakar Keita. Re-elected. Okay. Motorized militia. No, we're not going to be doing militia. Now, it actually qualifies mechanized infantry as armor. That's interesting. Yeah, it's going to cost 40 to replace this with mechanized imp. And we're at 22 combat width. I'd have to remove that. I'd have to probably replace this with self-propelled arty. Mechanized... I might be able to do this. Let's see, 18. Is there any way I can squeeze in anything that would get me to 20 combat width that would make any sense? Um, I could put an, an, an actual line engineers. That, that's probably not a good idea. And I could put in a self-propelled artillery support battery, or a... support tank company. Hmm. Support armor?
What if I made these motorized infantry? What's our speed? 17 kilometers an hour. What if I did make them mech? They would retain their speed. Okay. Oh, I had to like duplicate that. All right, just location for conquest is done. All right, let, let me just set this up. Let me, let me put this in here uh, with mechanized imp, with self-propelled artillery and support tanks. And we'll call this a mechanized division. Save. And let's train it. And it looks like we are making everything we need. Now, what if I say I bump this up to Armored Recon? What if I bump this up to Armored Recon? Oh, because it would get too, too heavy. You would then need recon tanks. Yeah, we'll go with armor for support. And then we need recon tanks. Okay. Let's go ahead and declare this war. Tell our guys to go. Well, do we have our planes in position? Yep, planes are in position. Yeah, they barely even have enough equipment to field their... their troops. Do they actually have military factories? They have one. Okay. And while we're working on that, can I begin justification here? Yes. What if I wanted to justify against... Three hundred and thirty days. Two hundred and fifty days. Three hundred and ten days. Um, let's see. Let's start the justification. Sixty-six political power. Six hundred and seven days. Okay, so two justifications simultaneous is about as much as we're gonna get without getting really, really ridiculous. Actually, probably be better for you guys to run around behind them.
All right, we got our new... Was that a new class of destroyer? Yes. Oh yeah, we have a new guided missile cruiser class as well. Nine hundred and sixty six days. Four hundred and seven days for the new frigate class. Yeah, we'll grab that. Oh, we do need to check and see if we now have the ability to unlock any more research slots, which we do. Do it. Now that we absorbed the more factories. Alright. War over. Victory. Done. Oh, I didn't check casualty numbers. Alright, we'll just keep using our armor and infantry. Move you guys back to the island. Be their kind of base of operations for now. How far can we do an airdrop? Wow. We can do a pretty good airdrop. Yeah, but you guys are a member of the Eurasian Union. They actually have some uh, real army. 30 divisions. These guys have 7 to 9, which is nothing to sneeze at. These guys have 9 or 10 or so. Alright, stockpiles are looking good. Fourth gen air superiority fighters. Are those better than the Phantoms? Let's see, thrust vectoring engines. Uh, plus one percent max speed to fighters. That's interesting that they went with max speed. Uh, I would think that thrust vectoring would add um, agility to fighters. That's really what it's for. Uh, let's go over here. Let's work on some of this. Uh, let's grab those 1995 drones. And let's take a look and see what... How these guys compare. Okay, so it is saying that these are an upgrade. Let's see, air attack is 46. Air attack is 38. Agility 93. Yeah. So we're gonna switch. Oh, that's the wrong thing completely. We're switching to this. There we go. And actually, I want to rename this. This is going to be... I'm going to go with S1. Um, Daedalus. Rename.
All right, more airborne. And let's uh, send them over here. Are there any changes we want to make to the government with this uh, political power we have? Or are we going to wait for the 900 to make one of these changes, like switch here? Maritime industry, industrial conglomerates. See, fossil fuels giving us justify war goal time. We actually might want to keep that. Small and medium business owners. What are they doing for us? Construction speed plus 10% for civilian factories and plus 4% stability. Stability. Uh, the military would be division org, division recov, military leader cost. Starting level of new army leaders. Division training time. Air base. Actually, we probably want to switch to that. Speaking of our. Commanders, does anybody, anybody get any, uh, any new skills? Ah. The commander for our marines has some new skills. Uh, amphibious. We can go with that. And our armor, not yet. All right, how is your army looking? You're up to around 50 divisions. Well, so are we. So. So I think the longer this goes, the stronger we're going to get. What about Congo? They're between 32 and 45. That's, that's a wide range. So that's going to be a fight. Taking down the Democratic Republic of Congo is going to be a fight. Alright, so as far as construction goes, oh, we've almost got two full lines. Just need four more civilian factories. We could try to reduce our tax cost. Um, the only thing we could really do to do that is reduce our military spending. Because nothing else is really costing us a lot. Alright, major regional economic power. There we are. We do need to start working on tanks. So I guess we'll go ahead and get some new main battle tanks. Work on those. Alright, our command and control equipment is done. We're going to keep working on that. Until we catch up. And I think... When is, when is this going to be done? Uh, we're the one who is actually justifying. Okay, these are the actual war goals we're justifying. Uh, the 14th of July. Okay, that's not bad. Alright. So we should be able to get to that probably next episode, because we're going to have to stop it here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.